Hello and welcome to this vlog. We are currently at the Oslo International Airport. Um, we are about to leave for our trip to Marrakesh, Morocco. And we're super excited. Every time we go on a trip, the last thing we do before we get out of our house is to check our bag. That is to make sure that our little ginger cat called Chaos has not snuck into our luggage while we were sleeping. Because almost every time we travel somewhere, um, our cat wants to come with us. Ready to check in at the airport and suddenly our cat jumping out of our luggage. That will be catastrophic. Hello. Hello. Yeah, welcome. Thanks. Thank you. We are finally at Jama Al Fna, which is the main square here in Marrakesh, and uh, we got lost. <laughs> we had to get help first from locals, and then from some French people, and then from I don't know who were the nationality the other ones were from, but we made it. And um, it was confusing, but I think it's gonna be worth it. A Moroccan traffic jam. <laughs> As you can see, there are cars and motorbikes and people all over trying to get around. So. We just got our juices, and we were totally stiffed on the prize. Behind me here, there are some snakes. And uh, we are told that if you go close, they might throw them at you. But um, we don't want that to happen. We just come from a really stressed situation. I was gonna ask one of the monkey guys, how much to take a picture and before I got an answer he just threw the monkey at me true two monkeys at her I was scared got to be too much so we were like okay no no got a bit uncomfortable they were aggressive but it's our fault kind of too because I mean when we when we take a picture of course they want to have money so we got into a deal with one of the guys and then when we were gonna do that deal and pay what we had um, arranged other guy also wanted money so it was a bit uncomfortable but um, you know, it was an experience. First day, first impression. Impress, impress. Impression. Okay, first day. What has been the best thing so far? Honestly, this morning was quite beautiful. The breakfast on top of the terrace and the awesome pictures you took. But it's kind of fun to watch the city life here. It's quite different from what we're used to. So we were told we have to walk on the right side of the street. Otherwise, we could be run over. So now we're at the souks and uh, we just had a really great experience actually. We, um, I wanted to take some photos by the lamp shop and uh, I was kind of nervous because I didn't know if they would want to have money afterwards. And then uh, we met this really nice guy, Mohammed, and he told us how we can take pictures, he even turned on some of the lights to make the pictures better, gave us instructions. And then when we were done, he asked for no money and he also gave us a free gift. And uh, he was super nice. So, um, yeah, it's a great experience. So now we're at the Jardin Majorelle, which is a botanical garden here in Marrakesh. And there are a lot of vegetation here. Waiting for our driver. Christian's being especially annoying. <laughs> I had to translate because she started to speak Norwegian. She was telling that I don't have anything more to say. Now we're at the Palais Bahia. Beautiful palace, not far from Jamal al -Fna. And the contrast of this city is just amazing. We're on a tour uh, with our, our private driver and he's showing us these great big palaces and then this one. So it's like two worlds that are just colliding together. Now we're at the main courtyard and as you can see it's really beautiful. <laughs> Culture. So we just finished 
probably our best meal in a really long time. And we're now in the middle of the Suiks. And here in the middle of Norway, we have this beautiful restaurant. I've been trying to find my way. Take me by the head and let's go find our own space. Somewhere in between you and me. It's a piece of magic that we need to release. Ooh, and now you're looking for a good time. I think you should take a chance, take a chance and leave. And do you wanna get the mood right? I think you should take a chance, take a chance and leave. Cause I've been on my side. I've been on, I've been on. So now we're in one of the. It's not the souks, but we're still in the Medina. And usually it is packed with people, locals trying to sell us stuff. But as you can see, it's almost empty. We're only seeing tourists. And that is because Ramadan, for at least this day, is over. Now they can eat and everyone is inside. So we have the streets for ourselves. I've been trying to find my way. Take me by the head and let's go 